Welcome back to another video. We are starting with EX02, and this one's a doozy. At least for me, this one in the exam instilled all sorts of fear. Why? Well, because there's a few different steps you have to memorize, basically. Write a function that converts the string argument string to an integer type int and returns it. It works much like the standard a toy blah 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 function. See the man. Okay, let's see the man. Man a toy. All right. Let's see how much this can help us. A toy converts ASCII string to int. Okay, we knew that. It's a library. Um, this is how to prototype description. Okay, a toy function converts the initial portion of the string pointed to by string to int representation. All right. Okay, we need to do that. It's equivalent to this. Well, that doesn't help us. We can't we can't use it. The allowed functions are none. Okay. Well the toy function uses a current locale, blah 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 blah. That was useless. So there's a few steps with this one. First we need to handle the white spaces, then we need to take care of the sign, and then finally the conversion. The biggest part of the memorization on this one is handling the white spaces. Now what will we do with those? Back to the ASCII table. Which ones are the white spaces? Well, we have to look at the decimals. 32 is the space. The other ones are 9 through 13. And what do they mean? HT, horizontal tab, new line, vertical tab, new page, and carriage return. That's the equivalent of hitting your enter key. So just remember 9 through 13 and your 32. Okay, and let's get started. We can clear this out. Okay, so the first thing you want to make sure is that you've prototyped this exactly correct. And now we need two variables. We need a variable to store our ongoing result and a variable to take care of the sign. So let's say int, I'll say result and int sign. The result, we're starting at zero, and I'm just going to assign the sign to one and you'll see how we mess with that later. Okay, so now for the white spaces. We're gonna use pointer notation because we don't care about where we're going with this string or the previous string because we're only gonna be returning the int we get from this function. So it doesn't matter what happens to the original string. So I'm just gonna say while string equals, and we have to remember that it's going to be equal to 32, which was our space, or and then let's say string is going to equal, I'm sorry, string is going to be greater than or equal to 9 and str is less than or equal to 13. That takes care of the, that range that we were looking at in the ASCII table. All right, what happens if we get that? Well, we're just going to iterate through the string. Okay, now we need to take care of the sign. If str equals to the negative sign, and we only have to worry about the negative sign in this situation because we don't print the plus for positive characters. So if string equals negative, we're going to say sign times equals negative one. So if there's a negative sign, sign times equals negative one is gonna change one to negative one. Easy, all right, now, we need to handle skipping beyond the sign char. So if string equals negative or string equals the positive, we're simply going to iterate beyond it. All right, now we got that. But if we're taking a look at both of these, can't we combine these in a way? Yes, you could. So let's just say that that is the case. All right, if this is negative or positive, then we're gonna look at it further. Well, if we've got this one, then we need to do something, okay? Yeah. And in either situation, we're going to iterate through it. Okay, so look at this. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six lines dedicated to doing it this way. If we undo everything, go back to this, we're only taking up four. So even though this may look, I don't know, inefficient, it actually is a little bit more. You're saving a little bit of space. And in terms of normnet requirements, that's actually a good thing. Now we need to handle the actual conversion. While string is greater than or equal to char zero and 
and string is less than or equal to char 9, we need to do a calculation. And we're going to take result equals result times 10 plus the actual char value that we're looking at minus char 0. And then we're going to iterate through it. Now, what in the world does this accomplish for us? Well, I'll show you. Let's say that for simplicity purposes, our current result is 10. All right. So we've got 10 already. Now, what's result times 10 going to give us? That's going to give us 100. Right. So now result is 100. But we're not actually doing, we're not sending this zero to the final calculation. This is merely serving as a placeholder for this part of the equation. Okay. So what does this do? Let's say str right now is represented by char 9. Okay. 9. And we're going to minus char 0. Well, what will that do? Let's look at the ASCII table again for clar clarification up okay down here again so char 9 is represented by um, int value 57 okay so char 9 minus the char value of 0 is represented by int value 48 57 minus 48 is 9 there you go that's how that's converted let's bring this back down so now we've got 100 plus 9, I really have to type, equals 109. So you can see how that original 0 here was mainly a placeholder to make the int value big enough to add the 9 to it. And so this will just keep repeating until you've reached the end of your, until you've reached the part in the string that is no longer a digit. So now we return this. We're going to return the result times the sign because we want to make sure that we've captured if there's a negative value there or not. Okay. So now we need to test. Well, how are we going to test this? How do we know if what we're actually doing is correct? Well, that's why I've included the STD lib here temporarily because the best way to test this is to compare it against the original, right? You're allowed to do that. You're, this is all you're going to pass back for grading, but up until that point, you can do whatever you want to this. So let's just say int mine is going to be our toy and int theirs is going to be the regular toy. And let's just say, let's keep this the same as what we've been doing. Okay, so I'm going to say mine equals ft a toy, sa toy, a toy av1. And let's just copy this down and we can just change this to theirs like this. And now I'll also do a printf mine percent d. Let's give it some space. There's percent d. New line it and mine and there's. Okay. Oops. Let's um, just take. Well, we don't even have to worry about this now. I'm just let's have it. Okay. Let's clear this and compile it. GCC wall extra. Where? Wow. I typed that without screwing it up. And this is FT a toy. All right, compiled, so A dot out, and let's test A, B, C, one, two, three. So we should get zero for this for both of them. Look at that. That's because this never moved beyond A. So for example, looking at this, we've gone through the white space. There are no white spaces, okay? There wasn't a sign, nothing here. And A is certainly not between the chars of zero and, and nine. So what we're doing in the end was we're saying result zero times one is just zero. That's why we get zero. Okay. Now let's flip it around. Let's say one, two, three, ABC. One, two, three, one, two, three. That is how you do FT a toy. Just remember to take it in your steps like this. Handle the white spaces. Handle the signs. Don't forget to iterate past the sign char. And then you take care of your conversion. The biggest screw up that you can make on this one is right here. If you were to add a plus, because then you're no longer taking the ASCII char down to the zero. You're not comparing the correct values. For example, if we were to recompile this, 
and do ABC like that, look at that big difference. That's because you're not going down. You're not going from char back to our nine and zero. You're not taking char nine minus char zero. You're taking char nine plus zero, which is, I don't know what it spit out at us here. Obviously the answer is wrong. So just be mindful of that. It has to be minus. Okay, now before we submit everything, we're just gonna clean it up. We don't need those, get rid of all that. And that's all you'd submit. And that's it for the Beastly FT a toy. If you like the content, consider subscribing, smash that like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.